All right, here we have an example of the April 29th, 1966 issue with Julie Christie on the cover. We're going to start right off with the closing of the Metropolitan Opera House and uh, kind of a history of what was happening there and who was there at the final days and the final shows. They made a new one here, but this one was... Uh, had been there for 83 years. Getting it switched over and closed down. And um, got a fun little Honda ad here. They had a when I was a, when I was a kid uh, back in the 60s. We had a, a Honda Trail 90, the little step through uh, design there, and that was our first little motorcycle. Here's the article on Julie Christie. Many pages about her and some scenes from her Fahrenheit 451 and some other movies. She was an Oscar winner back then. In quite a few things. Here we had a uh, guided missile uh, deal uh, that the, the uh, military was using, a shoulder uh, launch guided missile that uh, wish could shoot down something there, enemies. And uh, Sound of Music uh, soundtrack on record there, kind of a neat old ad. And this is part two of The Last Days of Winston Churchill. Uh, for those interested in, in uh, him and how he spent his last days, he passed away and 1965, the year before this this issue, little product 19 for those who remember. And Life Magazine had a lot of fashion articles. This one is about paper, and they made jewelry and headdresses and different things out of paper. We even have a dress made out of paper. So those of you who might even find something like that an old estate sale or yard sale. Could be worth something these days. And finally, uh, we had a Honda ad. <clears throat> Might as well put in a Harley Davidson ad. Of course, these are way different than a lot of the old Harleys. These were the ones for the, uh, the smaller bikes for the people just starting out. $225. But uh, anyway, 